Hello, welcome to Mike Dunn Film Reviews. I am Mike Dunn, and today I'm going to be uh, just talking about The Descendants, George Clooney's uh, newest Oscar winning epic. Um, as it's now beginning of March, I'm finally getting around to uh, finishing reviewing the January film releases, so yes, I know I need to step these up. Coming soon will be the February ones, and then the actual up to date March ones, I promise. Anyway, uh, The Descendants. Um, is set in Hawaii and it features a land baron, uh, George Clooney, who, um, as he's about to sell uh, some of his Hawaiian land, um, his wife goes into a coma after a jet skiing inc incident and um, then he has to take care of his uh, two daughters who he doesn't really know that much. Um, revelations are unveiled and yeah, it's basically just the story of George Clooney trying to keep his life together as everything's falling apart in the most beautiful setting of Hawaii. Um, it's really interesting to see a film set in Hawaii that's not like Fifty First Dates or you know a film like um, <laughs> I can't even think of another one, but one that's depicting like the idyllic landscapes and like serenic beauty of Hawaii rather than actually the people who live there and their lives and how they're just as normal as the rest of us. That's in a, well, innovative uh, in a way, just because I haven't seen it in a while. Um, yeah, it's uh, recently won the Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay from Alexander Payne and Jim Rash, who plays the Dean in Community. If any Community fans are watching this, I found that amazing to find out how he's just won an Oscar. Um, but unfortunately, George Clooney didn't win for Best Actor, and I think deservedly so. I thought the main actor from The Artist deserved the Oscar more because George Clooney in this, he's very good, but I thought that his performance in Up in the Air was a much better performance in this. Um, and seeing as he didn't win the Oscar for that, I didn't think he deserved the Oscar for this in a way. Uh, but the, the two main girls who play George Clooney's son, uh, daughters, and that's not sons, that'd be very weird. If you, uh, they played his daughters and uh, they were very impressive seeing as I think it's both of their screen debuts. She's uh, the older daughter, Shailene Woodley. Um, she's like a TV actress, but this is her first feature film. And you can't tell, she's very impressive. Um, as far as the rest of the cast, second half of the film, Judy Greer, Matthew Lillard and Bo Bridges all, all turn up and have like rather large supporting roles, but I felt like they could have been better if they were all the way through it because I'm a very big fan of their talent and they kind of they, they made the second half better than the first half in my in my opinion. So I thought I felt like if they were in the first half it would have been an overall better film. Um but overall it's a very nice heartwarming film. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna see George Clooney doing the same thing he does, looking down, looking underneath his eyebrows and just yeah, fine. The same way he does. Um, so yeah, it's a very, it's a very good overall film. But I thought that Alexander Payne like has done better films in the past, such as Sideways. I thought that was a much, well, a smarter film and a, a better directed film than the, the Descendants. I think it's one of the best ones this year so far. But I didn't think it's as good as everyone made out. I think I was a bit disappointed by all the hype that it got around it, saying that it was Clooney's best performance today, which I really don't think is the case. Um, not that it's a bad performance, but I think he's just done much better ones. Um, I really do recommend you see it though, if it's still around at the cinema, or if you can uh, rent it when it comes out, but very much worth it. Okay, thanks for watching my film reviews, and I'll see you soon with a more up-to-date film release. Okay, bye-bye.